Hello everyone and welcome to the next in our series of Daily Origami for YouTube. Today we're going to continue with our theme of making some fun traditional projects and we're going to make another flower variation and today's flower is a cornflower, a super pretty flower with really pretty color. If you can find the right blue it really makes it look really really pretty. Um, this particular origami you just use regular square origami paper. Um, I'm going to be using standard paper which is 15 by 15 centimeters and I'll let you guys know the dimensions when we're finished if you're making this for like a card or something. The design is one dimensional, I mean one dimensional, excuse me, two dimensional, there's no one dimension. Um, yeah, two dimensional so it's flat, you can put it on a card, um, if you wanted to kind of pop it out in a little way, I suppose you could kind of make sort of a unique little bouquet out of it, but yeah, it is a flat kind of two-dimensional thing. So I'll show you guys what we need to do to make this. Um, I'm going to start off with the color side facing up, and we want to get to the square base, so I'm just going to start by folding my paper in half, open up and fold the other way too. Then go ahead and open everything up and fold in half diagonally with the white side facing up. Do the same thing the other way too. And then we'll just use those creases to help us get to the square base. If you look at the white side, find those mountain creases that went from horizontal and vertical. Pinch opposite sides and just kind of bring everything into the center, shimmy it around until you get this nice uh, diamond or square shape like so. Then turn it so that those open flaps are on the top and we're going to take the outer edge of the side here and fold it into the center. Try to line it up with that center crease. I know it's hard to see because my paper's white, but you try to line it up there with that center. And then push over on that center crease to make sure it's nice and clean. Take the flap that we just folded there over and open it from the top. If I can open it here. There we go. Once you get it opened, pop it out so that you can put a little pressure right along that outer edge. Push straight down, it's going to wind up lining up right in the middle so that you get this smooshed out. It's called a squash fold. So you get that nice tr uh, kite shape there. Return the left flap back to the right and then we're just going to repeat those steps on this side. Um, I'm going to just turn mine around because it's easier for me to fold this way. Get a good crease started. Go ahead and make sure that you've got everything kind of smooshed over already for that crease in the center. Open this area up and push right down on that mountain crease that was the edge until it smushes out to make that kite shape. Return the right flap to the left now. Flip it over, repeat those steps then on the back side here too as well so that we wind up doing it four times, which will wind up giving us four areas of petal later. So when you're finished, you should have all of those folded over. Now, I want to actually go to the side where I can see a little bit of blue. So I'm just going to take one of these sides and fold it over from left to right. Flip it over, do the same thing again. And make sure, you know, you've got four flaps on each side when you've done that. To make sure you've got all that right. Then take the bottom part, and there's a lot of paper there, but you want to fold it all the way up to the tip here and create a nice crease. And there's a lot of paper, like I said, so make sure you make a really good crease there so we can mark where everything is. Then I'm going to take these first two layers and fold them down and the top layers try to lay everything out flat. And you'll notice this center part that's kind of got a little bit of strain on it. What we want to do with that, just deal with each one at a time, open up that little pocket there that's getting the pull on it and put a little pressure right there on that mountain crease. Smoosh it down, try to line it up right with the center so that you can get it smooshed out to look something like this with a little triangle. I'm going to do the same thing on this side too. Just get right in there to get it all the way opened out, push it out to the center and smoosh it out. So we get two sets of triangles and this little bit of white left on each side. 
Now we're just going to go ahead and create the petals by taking each one of these little flaps and first creating a crease that's snug against the edge of what we just made. Open it up. Then take that outer edge and fold it right into that area as well. What we're going to do is use both of these creases to do a squash fold again here. We've got both of those creases there. Open up inside the pocket area and pull it over to the side and smoosh down on that edge so that it lays down flat and creates this nice little petal on the side. And I'm just going to repeat those steps for all four sides. So again, I just take this part, fold it, and pull it right against, snug against that edge that's right in here. Then take that middle edge and fold it right into the crease and the side that we just made. Take this whole area here and open it up. Put a little pressure as you pull it over to the side so that you can lay it flat and smoosh it out to create the, the petal. And then I'll just repeat the steps down here too, and it'll give us all four parts to our petals. And when you get all four done, you should have something that looks like this. Like I said, it is a fairly two-dimensional kind of design. If you wanted to, you could kind of um, take this part that's back here and uh, pop it uh, down so that you could allow this to kind of serve as a stem if you wanted to. So it sort of creates a three-dimensional feel or just smush it right back down again so that you can lay it flat to use as a decoration for cards and such. So that is the finished flower. Let me tell you guys the dimensions for that. All the way from the farthest petal all the way down is about nine and a half centimeters. And then the width here is about seven and a half. So that should kind of give you the dimensions of this particular project. If you are interested in using this as a design for something, you need to know how big everything should be. But that is our finished project for today. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.